What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we were kind of trying to get uh, our driller drone essentially set up the same way that our grinder drone is set up, and I think it's working okay. Let's see how it's doing here. Ship is too heavy, so it's got to come back. I've I've been having some issues with the. Um, for example, it looks like it's at twenty-two percent, but it's saying it's too heavy, and that doesn't make sense. So I'm just gonna actually turn the weight limit off and see what it does. There we go. So I'm not sure what's going on with the weight limit. Uh, much like the uranium thing, I'm finding it easier just to ignore, but I don't know... I don't know if that'll cause a problem at some point, like it'll, it'll just not stop drilling even though it's full and it won't come back kind of thing, but um, it keeps triggering that it's too heavy even though it's not, so we're gonna try it and see what happens. But I'm not too confident that that's going to end up working out okay. It's probably not. Um, but I've had issues with both of these ships doing that, where it says it's too heavy, but it's got plenty of room. Um, actually, I don't know. Did I end up turning this one off? No, weight limit's still on. That's weird. I don't know what the difference is. That one seems to be going okay. Um, my driller one I had to kind of tinker with when I first started um, to get it going again, though. It was it was kind of stuck, and I had to kind of reset a bunch. So I'm not sure if maybe it's got a little bit of a glitch going on, and I should probably like redo the the job type or something. Um, actually, I don't need to do that, do I? I just need the reactor. So. This area over here, I'm setting up, and I'm probably going to hijack my driller drone for a second. Um, let's see here. A projector. Uh, nope. Um, why can I not access the projection? Oh, probably because it's not powered. That would make sense. What the heck? Did anyone else hear that? That sounded like a... Huh? <laughs> what, what is happening? What is happening right now? No? Was it just a fluke? I know this entire episode is going to be me jumping on stairs. I don't know what that was. It sounded like I had completed... grinding down a block. That was weird, and it did it twice. I don't know what that was. Alright, um... If I were uranium, where would I be? I know I've got some laying around here somewhere. Either that or it's in all my drones for, um... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Got one. Uh, we don't need much. Let's just grab... Like, 1.9. We'll even that out to 12. Uh, we don't need much for this, but this is going to be our, um, yeah. Did I, wait, did I make, yeah, I made a blueprint of it somewhere. What did I even name that? Um, <laughs> was, was it the, uh, armadillo or something? Oh, is that what it was? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Wait, do we want that copy to... Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, do we want that copy to clipboard or... Alright, so I'm going to get this set up, I think. Oh, that's cool. It actually tells you the kind of blocks that are needed. I didn't know it would do that. That actually gives me a script idea. That's interesting. Um, keep projection useful for automated building. After building is complete, show only buildable. I think I want that one. And then let's move this up. I can never remember 
Okay, that's... Nope. Where's... Vertical. There we go. Alright, so I need to bring that back down. What is it? Probably like two, I think. Let's see what that... Ah! Let's see what that does. Uh, I still think it needs to go higher. Three... I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, let me get this set up, and then we're gonna try and... Oh, look! Our, dr our drone's back. What brought you back? See, the ship is too heavy, but then it doesn't... This is my problem with the script, and I'm gonna get out here so that you guys can read it a little bit better. Because I'm sure that's hard to see. This is my issue that I've been having with this, and I don't... I haven't researched it, so there may be a, um... A comment from the script writer or something to explain it. But it says, last is ship too heavy, job active, ready to dock. But the load is zero, so it's not too heavy anymore. And it is docked. So, I don't know what it's doing, that it's like... It says, I'm ready to dock, and you're like, um, no, you are, silly. See, like, it's hooked up. So I don't know why it's not continuing to do what it's supposed to do, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not taking it on itself to then go about its merry way. So the only thing I can try to do is actually, um, see if I can kind of jumpstart it a bit, and then, let's see, then we could just maybe stop and then restart it? Okay, so that seems to work. So it's basically coming back and docking, um, but then it, you'd kind of have to manually tell it to keep going, I guess. How are you doing? Ship stuck. Well, that's lovely. Um. Oops. Nope. Wrong button. I wanted the stop button. Wait. Why can I not fly? Oh, it's probably too heavy. <laughs> See? Figure that was gonna come back to bite me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Crap, what did I just do? I just did something. <sighs> so it turns out there was nothing wrong at all, it's just that these scripts are smarter than me. Um, <laughs> so, I was seeing 27% thinking, well, that's not all it can carry. But the script is actually, apparently... Uh, programmed to know how much weight it can hold before the thrusters will no longer work. So that's why it was coming back at 27% or 22 or whatever it was, was because it actually couldn't fly anymore type of thing. So yeah, I apparently am just a, de uh, a, a dum dum. Uh, low energy move home, 20%. Alright, so that's recharging. That works out. So yeah, we've got ourselves a, a little uh, a little drone army going on here at the moment. Which is pretty cool. Um, actually, I'm wondering if I should cancel... I probably am going to cancel this job at the moment, or at least stop it. We're just going to stop it for the moment. Um, wait a minute. Why is... Why is recharging set to off? That doesn't seem right. Uh, batteries. Recharge. That needs to be on if you're recharging. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be on, but it should be on. All right, so while that's recharging, um, I'm going to see if I can finagle this guy a little bit better. Um, actually, let me see. Five was too high, but is four. Four apparently is still... 
in a weird spot. Let me actually turn on the uh, this part so I can kind of get a feel for where the ship actually is. Oh, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. It needs to go in the negative direction, apparently. Unless this is flipped. That's better. Okay, that's better. Now, if I turn on show buildable, is there anything buildable? No. All right, so let's try negative two. Perfect, there we go. So that'll be the uh, building. Now, the only thing with that is that cuts into the curve there, or the, the, I mean, it's not a big deal. I can always place a slope there myself. But it's just a bit inconvenient, I suppose. Oh well. I just have to live with it. Um, now the only reason I'm doing the show buildable ones is because I don't know how this welder ship getting into some of the smaller crevices and things is going to actually work. Um, so for now I'd kind of like it to only be able to access what's constructible. Uh, so we're gonna have to see how this goes because the the biggest thing I'm concerned about is it missing blocks so let me save it and I'm gonna load up the um, the ship here with some supplies and yeah we'll go from there okay so I ran into a bit of a snag um, I just now remembered that in the last couple episodes we've converted these two connectors to only be extraction connectors. So this guy cannot get materials. And although I could just move this storage container because I don't think there's actually anything in it. Is there? Is there really stuff in there? I guess there is. I'll be darned. Um, so even though there's stuff in there, I could easily move it, and it's probably the simplest of the two solutions. But I was thinking about actually adding a rotor to uh, this one over here, and creating kind of a, um, it flips up towards the top type of situation, and then these could dock with that arm. But it's probably faster just to do it this way. So in the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and convert this over. But I completely forgot about it, to be honest. Um, I was just kind of like, do-do-do-do-do. And uh, I <laughs> went to move stuff over. And then I was like, hey, nothing's moving. What's going on? Oh. So, um, yeah. So there's that. And, all right, I was going to see if I could make it to where, like, these were facing vertical, the little light things, and then that would tell me they're extractors, but it's not going to cooperate for me. Oh, that's cool. I don't have enough materials. Well, this is just going so well. i got to run all the way back here. Or at least get... I, I, I will say it does kind of bug me a little bit. I know they're cheaper, but everything in here is a conveyor. There's like no storage containers that you can actually access your inventory from. Everything's a conveyor. So I kind of feel like I have to run back over here to the storage room just to get anything. Um, what do I mainly need? I think it was plates. That should get it up and running to where... That was weird. My mouse just decided to have a mind of its own for some reason. Um, yeah, also, I wanted to actually take some time. I, I had been focused on my project here and kind of forgot about um, one of the things I was going to bring up. Uh, there's, I don't know when, you guys can let me know, I, I don't uh, do well with keeping up with all the different bits and bobs going on in the, you know, all the different discords and Twitter feeds and Reddit posts and all that from the, the, the devs and stuff. So sometimes, even though I do video content on Space Engineers, a lot of times you guys know more about it than I do when stuff's coming out. Um, and I recently, 
like the last few weeks or so, um, stumbled across the uh, idea that they're doing um, the survival update. Is, is coming out like they're overhauling the survival mechanics which i'm super excited about um mainly because um i i like this i think the survival gives the game the most life like creative is cool but survival gives you a reason to build ships it was even pointed out to me in um one of my last episodes on uh my last season of the survival series where a couple people mentioned kind of the the nano mods and stuff kind of making it a little redundant of like why do you need to build mining drones and things when the nanites just do everything for you and it's a very valid point because it is one of those where the nanite mod is really cool especially for like building ships because it can do like It'll avoid the same thing I was talking about earlier, where I don't know if the welders will be able to get in and do everything they need to. It avoids that almost entirely, um, because it just flies through and just gets anything that it misses, which is really cool. Um, but, however, one of the issues is that because it will mine and it will do repairs and it'll do this and it'll do that and it'll do you know etc and so on it does kind of turn into a little bit of um you know do we really need to make a mining drone do we really need to do some of the other builds and things that a lot of times you build while you're um playing the game because you need those ships to do different things like we just built a grinder and a driller drone you know so that we can do repairs and other stuff so it's that kind of stuff that uh, it does make it one of those where you're like, yeah, I can see why survival is kind of cool because you need that motivation and that reasoning to actually, um, you know, to actually make everything have a purpose, essentially, is the bottom line that I'm going for, round and about in a random way. Um, I hope I'm getting all these, I really do. If not, I might have to throw in a nanite mod just to build this for me real quick or something, because... Actually, it looks like I'm running out of something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flying away from me, ship. Um... But yeah, so a couple of people had asked me, like, you know, had I seen the new block types and stuff, and I was like, I've seen a couple of them, but like... Some of them were um, things that I felt could really have been in, in the game for a while now. Um, they've they've shown clips of like the windmill power systems instead of just solar panels. Um, there's something else too. There was another block that they've had in the works that I've kind of been like, "Hey, he's leaving on his own." What the heck? I can't figure this script out. One minute it does everything on its own, then the next minute I gotta, like, hold its hand. I can't figure it out. Alright, what am I missing here? Construction components, maybe? Like, what is what is the holdup? Steel plates. Do I not have steel plates? Really? I do not have steel plates! Holy crap, okay. Um, well, that could be part of the problem. I like, by the way, how if you get into the cockpit with your headlamps on, it kind of doubles as, like, small <laughs> small spotlights. That's kind of funny. Uh, but, so, yeah, I am looking forward to the new update. However, I will say I don't really know how that's going to affect um, my current playthrough. Just because there are a few mods in here, like the... Um, um, if you said the name of it, I'd remember it. I can't think of it offhand. It's the basically PVE stuff, though, that, like, you know, it changes. Luckily, there's no modded blocks. I didn't put anything in the game that wasn't already there. So, in that regard, it should be okay. Um, I haven't really added anything that new to it. However, um, if, they, if they do updates like, you know, new enemy types that spawn or you know, AI pirate things or something. I don't know. I Like I said, I haven't really been keeping up all that much with it. 
so I don't exactly know all of their planned features that they're working on other than I've seen clips of the the windmills and the starter whatever it is the survival kit thing that's essentially like a uh, a basic first starting off furnace situation type thing um, I've, those are the only two things that I've really seen because I haven't watched any of the live streams or all that stuff so um, not too too up to date on everything if I'm if I'm being 100% honest but yeah, see this concerns me a bit because the um, like that block in between there I, I just I can't quite figure out if everything's getting welded or not we've got like the batteries the thrusters and some of them don't seem like they're really getting completed Maybe the battery is getting completed now? I can't quite tell. So I'm not really sure if this is going to cover everything or not. That does look more completed, so maybe it is. I wish there... I don't think there is, but I wonder if there's a way for the... Uh, um, so, okay, that's that's a feature that I hope they add at some point. Like, a welder version of the nanites would be cool. Um, like, I understand not wanting to have all of the functionality of the nanite mod because it does kind of break survival mode, like with the mining and all that stuff. But it would be cool to have something a bit more precise in building than just the ship size welders, in my opinion. But... At the same time, I haven't really done a whole lot with this. This is the first time I've ever tried to basically build a ship that can build another ship type of thing. Um, and so with that in mind, you guys can let me know as it's like, no, the welders are super accurate and they cover a bigger radius. I'm just running out of parts and stuff, so it's not completing things, but it would get them, you know. Because uh, I don't know. It very well could. It, it very well might be able to get all of these blocks and things if I was actually had all of the materials right off the bat. I don't know. Um, it seems to be doing okay, but there's a lot of internal components that I keep seeing, like the thrusters and batteries and things that I'm not seeing getting completely built, and it's concerning me that something's gonna get, like, you know, essentially lost in the in the internal guts of the ship, basically. That's what I'm concerned about right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, anything updating for survival, I'm excited for. Like, Minecraft was even one of those that I didn't even look at it really sideways very much or anything. It wasn't even on my radar um, until they added survival mode into it. So, um, if that gives you any indication. <laughs> loot, not loop. Um... Oops, that was a little too many. What am I missing here? It's got... It's still got most of this stuff. Those, uh, what is it not getting? I got those, I got those. Ge rotors? Or motors, maybe? Maybe that's what it's missing? That would probably make sense. Uh, interior plates we have, that we have. Probably don't need displays. I think that's probably what it's missing. Alright. It is kind of cool when you're doing this kind of stuff and then you see your other ship moving around. So I really enjoy this script. The the Pam um, auto mining thing is really, really cool. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and I do apologize. I wasn't planning on talking this much without getting more progress. I was kind of hoping to have a, you know, uh, here's the half half of the ship's done. Here's the rest of the ship done. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and do a little bit more bullet pointed. But uh, I really did have a couple of topic things like this that I wanted to go over with everybody. So it probably works out in the long run. Because um, it kind of gives me something to talk about while we're working on stuff. But I did plan on cutting more and doing more edits. Um, let me know also, I'm gonna be probably taking a fairly open-ended break, um, for a while from the, the YouTube video uploading scenario situation. 
Um, I'll probably be posting a full, like, channel update video here in a little while, before the end of the week at least. Um, because Monday, where I would normally be recording for my next episodes and all that stuff, um, I'm actually going to not be available for a while because uh, my, my brother had a contractor job type thing and he needed an extra pair of hands. And so I offered to help him, but it's a, um, it's a fairly, not, not really like crazy difficult or anything, but it's just there's a lot that needs to be done on the job. So um, I don't know how long it's going to take us to do it is the, is the issue at hand. So um, I don't, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be stopping this week, like next, next Tuesday where my next episode would normally be coming out. There won't be anything, I don't think. I'm leaving it open-ended as far as, um, you know, if I just happen to get home and I have just an abnormal amount of energy, which is rare for me, um, then, you know, maybe I'll throw together a video or something like that. But I'm not really planning on actually doing videos, like, scheduled. So if you see stuff, great, but... Um, you know, and I'll, I'll keep everybody apprised as stuff goes on and I find out more. But at the moment, I'm planning on taking uh, a sabbatical, if you will. Um, and unfortunately, because neither one of us really knows how long everything's going to take, I can't really say when I'll be back. I'm estimating at least a couple of weeks could be into the more month-like bracket. I'm not sure yet, though. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up or anything as to when everything's going to be going on. So, uh, with that, um, like I said, I was kind of hoping to have it be a bit more edited and stuff, but also it's giving me some time to actually do some analysis of my channel and stuff and really look at uh, what things do I want to keep doing, what things aren't working that I've tried to do, but they're not, you know, not, not as many people are enjoying them as I thought, that kind of thing. For example, I really doubt Ashen will keep going. Um, the viewership response to that hasn't been all that um, encouraging. That, uh, like, the, the comments and stuff are fine as far as everybody's, and, but as far as just people looking for videos on that game doesn't seem to be as, uh, as big as I expected it to be. So, in that regard, um, I think the one that came out this week is probably going to be the last one, and I've probably already covered that in Ashen's episode, but still. And like I said, I'll probably do a channel-wide announcement to at least uh, maybe by Monday or something like that. Um, if not if not before, then it'll be after all of the episodes aired for this week on, on schedule type of thing. And that's part of why you might have noticed if all goes according to my plan. This is actually the first of my recording set, so if I changed my mind or something, uh, what I'm about to say may not be how it actually happened. Um, but if everything goes according to plan, then I will probably be putting out kind of a uh, beginner's guide to Genesis Alpha 1, because that game is something that I'll probably be starting a Let's Play on, but you probably have noticed, like, why didn't he just start a Let's Play on that? That's actually why, is it was because I didn't want to start like, hey, episode one, get everybody stoked and excited about it, and then you disappear for a while kind of thing. Um, so I was like, well, maybe we'll just start out with like a beginner's guide, get everybody else started where they're having fun with it and stuff like that. Um, you know, and, and then after I get done on this uh, break situation, then I'll come back and, and start my own Let's Play on that. So hopefully, not every, hopefully all of you guys don't end up passing me too much on that game and end up going, yeah, yeah, we've seen all this before. Um, and that very well could be the case. The other thing that is going to happen too is when I come back, I will probably come back with um, Astroneer on the schedule somewhere because um, I'm expecting... What, what do these things need? I, this is driving me nuts. I've been ignoring it while talking, but what in the world do these thrusters need? What are they missing? Motors? I thought I grabbed motors. Did, is that the one thing I didn't grab? I've been talking, so I'm not really paying attention. But is that seriously the one thing I haven't grabbed? Alright, let's see if I can... Uh, 
Oh, I can get it through the conveyor, probably. Oh, it's... Is it storing it in the cockpit? It's storing everything in the cockpit. No wonder I have no room. Where's, where's my crate? Yeah, these things can hold way more. I should be throwing them in there. Dang, nabbit. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? I'll just throw all these in there, since apparently I had a bunch of crap on me anyway. There. That ought to work. Now. Thank you. Get all the stupid thrusters. These thrusters just didn't want to get built for some reason. Um, but yeah, so anyways, the, uh, that's the plan, tentatively, but Astroneer, I believe, comes out February 19th, I think? I wouldn't quote me on that, because I'm really unsure, but I, th I feel like that's the number that keeps sticking to my head, is the February 19th, for some reason. Um, hopefully because it's accurate, but one never knows. So, yeah, um... There's that. So I'm hoping to come back with Astroneer because I've really wanted to get back into that, but I, much like Genesis Alpha 1, I didn't want to start it until it was um, kind of like out to where I could actually, you know, really play it kind of thing as far as not have to worry about getting two episodes in and then all of a sudden, oh look, they did a patch and now, you know, you've got to change up your stuff. So there's that. Um, so I'm hoping that by the time I come back, and I'll probably do an announcement video when I'm set, setting myself back up to, um, to start recording again, and I will probably do like a poll or something, uh, pitching whatever schedule ideas that I've come up with, but things may be about the same. Um, it's been working fairly well for me so far. Um, I'm hoping that by the time I come back I'm a lot closer to like within a week or so of having my book done because at the moment I'm about halfway through my own final editing and then I'm gonna have a couple of uh, friends of mine look over it and give me some advice on suggestions and things like that but I've actually already gotten the cover art done um, and I may actually post that in the channel art or channel announcement video thing I might bring that up at some point I'm not sure I may do that when I come back um, cause hopefully I can come back and have a bit more squared away on it. Uh, but yeah, so needless to say, that's kind of what's going on on the channel side of things. I am very much looking forward to the, um, survival update. And actually, if they do the update while I'm on my break, I may, you know, kind of break down and, and do a, uh, a video on that. Just covering the, the stuff on it and what I like about it or something. I don't know. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, kind of my thoughts or whatever on the video or, or on the on the update or if you'd rather just wait for um, you know the let's play to come back and then see how it affects it that's that's you know another option as well so just let me know what you guys think about that kind of stuff but um, I wanted to give everybody kind of a heads up in case they didn't see the channel announcement video I'm gonna post later or, or whatnot and you know it's like what happened to him why doesn't he have more episodes going you know so, um, that's kind of what's going on. But, uh, yeah, so this is actually going pretty well. I'm still slightly concerned about the welding radius getting all of the blocks, but it does seem to be doing okay, at least. Um, so yeah, it's going pretty good. But it looks like we're about out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Again, I do apologize for kind of chewing up the time and turning it into a bit more of a monologuing episode than a progress episode, especially since I've uh, relegated the Let's Play down to like once every two weeks instead of once a week. I'm sure that's not entirely what you guys were looking forward to, but I wanted to address some of the topics, so it was just the easiest way to do it. Uh, but with that, we're going to wrap things up here, I think. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the future at some point. All right, later. Peace.